A casual stroll through any major retailer will quickly reveal that soft hand prints are not a fad, but here to stay. Lightweight cotton fabrics paired with unconventional print placements have become commonplace, which means that screen print buyers have higher expectations than ever before. In many cases, the traditional plastisol inks are unable to meet these expectations. Rutland's WB99 ink system is here to give you the competitive edge needed to satisfy your fashion-forward customers. Engineered to be the most user-friendly water-based inks on the market, this base and pigment mixing system works hand-in-hand -hand with Rutland's new OMX mixing software to keep quality and production speed at an all-time high. You'll find that extremely soft and vibrant printing is finally within reach. Traditional water-based inks produce bright colors and a very soft hand. But the trade-off is that these inks have almost no opacity. Images look very dark and washed out on colored garments. This is where discharge comes in. It's a chemical process that breaks down reactive dyes in cotton, essentially bleaching the shirt underneath the ink as it runs through the dryer. Let's get started with screens. The most sensitive part of the discharge printing process is the stencil. Be sure to use a high quality emulsion designed for discharge inks if you want your screen to last more than a few impressions. The coated screen must be completely dry before exposing the image. As coated screens dry, store them separately from wet or freshly coated screens. Undeveloped emulsion will soak up ambient humidity like a sponge. Even the most durable emulsions will break down prematurely if they're not completely dry all the way through before exposure. Use the same emulsion instead of traditional blockout for registration marks. Then post-expose your fully developed screens once they're dry. Once the edges are masked with a water-resistant tape, these screens are ready for the press. Mixing custom colors with the WB99 system is straightforward thanks to Rutland's intuitive OMX online mixing software. Go to the Rutland website at www.rutlandinc.com. After registering, you'll have access to Rutland's vast library of color formulas. First, select your base code. In this case, we're using the WB base. Next, enter your PMS color code, color name, or color description. We'll use 485C and click Go. Select the color from the results, Pantone 485C, and select your display units from the drop-down menu. We'll use grams. Enter the quantity that you want to mix. We're going to go with 1000 and press the Calculate Mix button. Now simply follow the formula on screen or print it out for later use. Shake or stir pigments before use as settling may occur over time. Be sure to add the base and pigments in the order they're given and zero your scale after each component is added. WB0258 lubricant is a retarder that can help prevent drying in the screens. Add up to 5% as needed. After thorough mixing, the final ingredient is 5 to 8% of WB0259 discharge agent. Mix again and allow the ink to sit for at least 15 minutes before use to ensure the discharge agent has completely dissolved. The ink now has a 12-hour pot life, so only activate what will be used that day. Discharge inks can be stored indefinitely if WB0259 discharge agent has not been added. Now the fun begins. Because WB99 discharge inks do not require an underbase, no trapping is required in the artwork and all colors are butt registered. Register your screens as closely as possible. Unlike Plastisol, 
WB99 inks perform best with heavy squeegee pressure and a very light flood stroke. These inks have very low viscosity and may drip through the image area if flood pressure is too high. Medium squeegee speed will allow the ink to penetrate the fabric, and flooding the image immediately after the print stroke will keep the image area from drying out. Because the discharge process removes dye from the shirt, pinholes and misprints cannot be removed with a spotting gun, so make sure each member of your team is aware and involved in quality control. Before its 90-second trip through the dryer, the print is far from impressive. But while the ink is being cured, a transformation takes place. The discharge process has removed the dye, giving an almost white background for the colors to sit on. All water in the shirt must evaporate before the ink will cure, so allow your shirts a minute and a half in the dryer tunnel. With less cure time, the print can discharge and look beautiful, but the ink may not be fully cured, so this is not the place to cut corners. Creating prints that feel as though they were dyed into the garment is only the beginning. The thin body of Rutland WB99 inks makes printing over seams and other difficult locations a much less messy ordeal. While this doesn't mean every print location will be easy, proper testing and the creative experimentation that screen printers are known for will open the door to endless possibilities.